five. And look, a week after a trip to Tampa, this week the Temple Owls are going to make the trek from Philadelphia down to Birmingham um, to take on the uh, the UAB Blazers. Uh, UAB is currently a seven and a half point home favorite, and the total at BetUS currently sits at sixty four and a half. Uh, Temple they they have lost nineteen straight as a road underdog, but they are three and three against the spread in that role in the last six. That includes a cover last week at USF. Uh, UAB on the other side they are eight and two against the spread in their last ten as a home favorite. Kyle, these two teams are number twenty two and number seventeen in PPA margin, and Look, that's that's over the last four weeks, but uh, you know they're number eighty-two and number one seventeen in PPA margin, and I don't know how much of the stats really matter because UAB quarterback Jacob Zeno was out for the Memphis game, and Temple quarterback EJ Warner was out for the games against North Texas and SMU. Uh, Temple's offense with Warner, if they don't turn the ball over, that's a big if. They are really really good, and it, it's kind of the same for Zeno. Uh, what do you see happening between these two teams? That is a significant if uh, Temple is last in turnover margin in the country. You know, if they can just stop shooting themselves in the foot, this is a really fast paced game. I mean, both teams play really quickly 17th in tempo and 19th in tempo. Temple has some odd things about their team. I was, as I was looking at this game, their kicker has kicked it out of bounds six times this year, and he only has 16 touchbacks on 43 kickoffs. So, uh, not a great start. And then UAB. Nine kickoff returns allowed of 30 yards or more, which is worst in the country. So we could see some really weird stuff happening in a game like this. UAB is 131st in the nation and success rate allowed. Temple has virtually no running game. Their offensive line is really bad in run blocking. UAB 130th in the nation in yards per carry allowed. So weakness versus weakness. Will EJ Warner still have to do it all through the air? Um, It would be nice if Temple could run the football at least a little bit. UAB secondary. Uh, it hasn't given up a lot of big plays, but they are 109th in passing play success rate allowed. The Temple secondary is really, really bad. 123rd PFF in coverage grade, 132nd in opponent QBR. I think Zeno has a big game here. Uh, UAB 25th in success rate on offense. I lean to the over in this game. But guys, I've been burned by Temple overs enough. I don't know if I want to do this again. So um, it, it, honestly, it probably means this one will win. Um, I do lean to the over here. Uh, I think this will be a back and forth type game. Uh, UAB is favored for by quite a bit for a team that's really not very good. So I'm not anxious to bet Temple, but uh, I lean to the over in this one. Parker, over to your side. Uh, you know what Kyle was talking. Both these teams are pretty bad, especially in the last four weeks, uh, and they're they're pretty bad at finishing drives. Uh, Temple is number 109 in points for scoring opportunity. UAB is number 126. Temple actually ranks higher in the five factors. Uh, you know I love talking about those. And they're number 11 in penalties per game. Uh, the surprising stat to me is, is that both teams are tied for number 120 in the country in giveaways per game. Uh, they're averaging two turnovers per game on offense. Like, I knew the Temple was bad at this. I did not realize the extent to which UAB gives the ball away. Uh, it says to me this game could get volatile. What, uh, what are your thoughts on this one? Well, one, we got people in the chat complaining about Sam Houston State and Western Kentucky and not this game. I would watch Sam Houston State, Western Kentucky 10 times out of 10 uh, over over <laughs> this. These are two bad teams, man. But uh, and, and the thing about UAB is they're like substantially less fun than they were last year. That's that's what really bums me. It's not when a team is not fun. It's when a team was fun and then they decisively shift away from that identity. And I feel like UAB has kind of done that on offense. They're often still 72nd in EPA per play. That's the best unit on the field. Um, but I again, I. I I don't want to trust UAB. This uh, is not the the moneymaker UAB of, of Bill Clark's team that it was uh, a couple of years ago and it has been, uh, and certainly don't love Temple on the road. I think, um, you know, there's just so much volatility in this. Both these teams are sub 100 on um uh, in in rushing and passing efficiency, so just not a lot to uh, go on there. I think UAB's hope is that they can just connect on a couple of these big passes and do enough to distance themselves. But uh, a little bit of an ugly game, a lot of red on my preview from uh, from from this one here between these two. So no play for me. That's it. for me. I'm going to make a play here uh, in a game with a lot of variance. If I'm getting more than a touchdown with a team that I think can win the game, I mean that's almost an auto bet for me. And, and usually a little piece of the money line. Temple came home for me last week. Uh, and, you know, as they say, like, I'm going to ride them till they buck me, right? So I, I like Temple here. I, I'm getting the hook along with it. 
I don't think UAB is that great. Uh, both of these offenses, I think, can go toe-to-toe with each other. I think we're going to see the ball bounce uh, some funny ways here. Turnovers galore, et cetera. I think it's just going to be crazy. And in a crazy game where I'm getting more than a touchdown, I'm going to take the dog. So give me Temple plus seven and a half on this one.